What is up guys and girls, it's Ghost Robo. Welcome back to Super Mario 3D World. Now, here is the part of the story where we have to go around and clean up, basically. We're on janitorial duty trying to find the rest of the green stars, the gold flag posts, and those secretive stamps. Hope you guys are all doing awesome and enjoying this epic Mario adventure. Now, if we take a look at our map here, we're starting off in World 1. Uh, we got a couple things to collect here. It's not really so bad. 1A and 1 Toad don't have anything left. Um... And then there's just a couple gold flagpoles, so we're going to basically have to play through most of these worlds. But it'll be fun, because we're just going to basically talk and, and kind of have a good old Mario-rific time uh, as we adventure along together. And I have so fallen in love with this game um, to a extreme level that I think I'm going to end up playing through Mario Galaxy 2 on my channel. Uh, I never beat that game. I started to play through it earlier in the year, and then Nintendo had their whole little uh, We Hate YouTubers fiasco. Um, and so I wasn't able to finish it, but I want to start that off with you guys here sometime soon. I think that's what we'll do once I've beaten uh, all the craziness of this game. And, and Champion's Road is what I'm hearing is like the hardest thing ever. Um, a lot of people are saying it's like one of the hardest platforming challenges they ever did experience. So I'm a bit worried about that, but I know I can do it. Um, and I'm actually kind of looking forward to something being really hard that a lot of people say is impossible or, or just too hard to too hard to tangle with because I think it'll be fun to, to see how I measure up. Um, so we're going to dive down here, and I kind of want to collect the second star just so I know where it's at. Uh, does he have one? Yeah, that's the second one, right? Okay. So it's, it's after this. Uh, might as well just stock up on power-ups. Is it in here, you think? I honestly don't remember. This is so long ago. That's the stamp. Okay. No real need for that. Um, the fun part is because some of these stages are so long ago, because there is so much content in this game, um, that I it's not like a, a hardship to play through this. You know, we kind of can really enjoy it because... Is there something down there? What I was trying to say is that we haven't played the levels in a long time. That's basically what I meant. Um, but I'm not sure. That's the end of the stage. Um, so where art thou, other coin? Other star? It's funny that this is the first stage, and you'd think like all the stars would be so obvious. Um, but they're really not. I guess I'll check all these trees. Wasn't there one in a tree early on? I think it was this level. Is there something over there? No, it's just background busyness. I'm trying to, you know, equate this to my favorite Mario games of all time. I was thinking about sort of the order where I where I place this one um, amongst the greats. The greats, to me, being Super Mario 64 and, and World. I've never finished Galaxy, so I can't really comment on if that is one of my favorites. But of, like, my, my pure favorites, I've played all the Marios to some extent. Um, and I beat most of them. But I think that this one definitely definitely matches up with the best of them. Um, I'm not sure... I think it's, it's best direct comparison. Obviously, it's 3D Land, which, which is my favorite handheld Mario thing still to this day. Um, but how does this compare to Mario World? Which one, you know, would I would I rather play? Um, this one definitely is more variety. I was watching some videos of Super Mario World back on SNES and just thinking, like, that game has a real special kind of charm to it. And um, there's just a real sense of, I don't know, the sound effects, the design of it all is just quite cool. Um, there's nothing really quite like it, really, at all. Um, just in the way that it presents itself and some of the castles. And it does have an extreme variety um, as well, which I think is pretty darn cool. Um, this game is sort of the king of variety, though, and with its pretty graphics, you know, it, it's hard to pick which one is really the, the true winner. I'm guessing it's in these blocks, um, which is going to be hard because this mushroom now is way down here. Ah. Yeah, it's, it's probably up there. I'm guessing, unless it's a, well, it's got to be up there. I don't think it's in these next one. I'll run over here and see, but I think we missed out. I think we got to take down the bunny rabbit so that he doesn't. Unless it's here, I don't know. Oh yeah, here it is. Okay, well then, good. We win the day. We don't even have to restart. Um, you know, obviously Mario World and Super Mario 3D World are. Similar in their variety, similar in sort of the style of the game. You know, it's, it's obviously going to the end goal, and it's not exactly... My, my favorite, I think, is still 64. I still think it is. That game is just so magical, and I, I really like the openness of the levels. I think there's something really kind of unique about that, especially in a platforming sense, because Mario still encourages tricky platforming, even in those instances. Um, but I do believe that this game will 
over time proved to be one of the top three Marios. I think that's safe to say. Um, maybe not safe to say, but I think for me it will. I don't know. Maybe I'll end up loving Galaxy and be like, no way. But I think it's going to be, say, 10 years down the road. I think Mario World and Mario 3D World, some people will like one better, some people will like another better. Um, there will be a lot of sort of, not, not a lot of hate if you like one or the other. People will understand, you know, why and all that. Here I don't need any stars. I just need, uh, um, I'm going to save the cat bell for the end. Because all we basically need to do is go get the flagpole. Um, which is sort of silly that they've made the gold flagpole one of the requirements. I guess it's because they want you to beat the levels like with the cat suit or whatnot. Um, which I guess is a challenge, you know, to an extent. Um, but for the, some of these stages where we have all the green stars, um, it's a little bit silly. Now, I don't know if you guys want me to show all of this. I know a lot of people have requested that I show all of it. Um, but let me know in the comments below if you think it'll be fun to see all of the, uh, the entire the entire search for all this stuff, or if you would rather me just uh, do a lot of it on my own and then take you guys to Crown World, which is the next world we're going to unlock once we uh, take care of business here with all the uh, the collectible stuff. Um, but let me know, because if you guys aren't the biggest fan of seeing this stuff, I don't have to play it. Um, I don't want to die, but at the same time, I don't want to waste the kitty suit. This probably is the end of the level. Yes, okay. Woohoo! Good deal. Um, there's also a way to get even more of a perfect, like, after you beat the, uh, the whole game, after you beat, get all the stamps, all the stars, all the flagpoles, you can also go back and beat every level with every character once, and that unlocks sort of a further level of perfection in your game save. It doesn't unlock anything else, as far as I know and as far as I've heard, like, it doesn't open up new levels or anything. Crown World is the last world, um, but I guess it's just, like, a mark of, like, I'm so awesome, if you're able to do that. And that's perfect. This one doesn't have a gold flagpole either. Okay. Moving right along. Um, we did get better at getting gold flagpoles later in the game, which I guess is indicative of our skill building. Um, here, though, I guess we weren't the greatest. Now, this stage is a repeat stage and that they use twice. There's very few of them, but some of them they do use twice um, in the special worlds as more of a time stage and or a, just a crazier version. Um, and this is one of them that they use um, multiple times. Uh, and it's kind of a cool stage because you're climbing so straight up and that's not a very Mario-esque thing. You know, typically you're going, what, horizontal rather than vertical. Um, so it's kind of a nice change of pace. But I just want to point out that this is one of the ones that they do. They do repeat and I have to make sure that I kill this guy. That was ridiculous. Let's jump on his head. Beautiful for spacious skies. Mario, we do trust in. Alright, flagpole me up. Flagpole me full. Give me your gold and give me the goal. So maybe I wasn't explaining myself clearly earlier, but thinking about the ranking of Mario games, Mario World and 64 are my two favorites. I need to play through Galaxy 2 because I think that one could be up there but as of right now mario world mario 64 and this game are my three favorite mario games this one does um usurp mario 3d land for 3ds i like it better it has more variety there's more stages um in general it just feels more epic and of course it's on a full-blown home console rather than just a handheld um, but i don't think that's the only reason i think that they do a really great job of variety here um and of making it feel like a pretty epic adventure even though it's it's, it's not a, quote, 3D Mario in the sense that it doesn't have the whole, um, what do you call it? It doesn't have the whole, like, pick your own level, find your stars, all that glory. What am I doing? Um, whoops. Uh, it does give you that sense with all the bosses and, and being able to walk around the world map. It's not perfect. It still is more in line with 2D Marios of old. Um, but I really do like everything that it offers, and I really do like, um... A lot of the levels, majority of the levels, I think some of the new themes and new backgrounds are really epic. Um, take, for example, the Piranhas in the Swamp. That's one of my extreme personal favorites. No, Luigi. But, yeah. As of right now, I think it probably still goes 64. And then, I don't know. World has a charm to it all of its own. But it feels like such a different game. Not in, like, a bad way or anything, but it's just... In some ways, it's a good way. I was listening, like, the sound effects are just crazy cool in that game, and it's something that this game can't achieve because of all its perfection in 3D and, and clean corners and stuff, but there's something about the... the I don't want to say jankiness, because that game is in no way janky, but just the old-timey sort of nostalgia that really gets me. Oh my god, did I honestly just die? Are you joking right now, Luigi? Um, 
something about it that just, I guess I was so used to Rosalina and Peach. Um, something about it that really just strikes a chord with me. If you've played the game, you know what I'm talking about. The, the sounds of like being in the ghost mansion, the music is epic. I feel like the music is good here. I still think the music is better in, in the world um, for SNES. So there's a lot to like about both games, and they both have their extreme pluses and minuses. Um, well, not really extreme minuses, but you know what I mean. Like, they definitely have their differences. So it's a tough choice. It's like picking game of the year. It's, it's sometimes hard when it comes down to the final two games, and I don't really have a, a, a sure-shot favorite between SNES Mario World and Wii U Mario World. Um, this is the more probably, like, innovative, expansive game. But there's still just something so pure about SNES Mario that I don't know. It's a tough. It's a tough one. What do you guys think? If you played uh, Super Mario World, which I'm guessing a lot of you probably, hopefully have, it's a fantastic game. Um, one of my all-time favorites. Uh, what do you think? Which one is is your your most favorite? Um, do you have a favorite? Do you think that one is better than the other, worse than the other? They all the same to you? Uh, what? How do you even begin to pick? Just based on what levels you like more? The systems are so vastly different. Just the style of gaming, you know, there was was obviously so 2D that it was almost more along the lines of New Super Mario than it was um, along the lines of this game, but, you know, they're definitely, there's a lot of similarities. So enough of that talk, let's focus on collecting all this good stuff. So that's more flagpoles and, and green stars and stamps for our collection. World 1 is surprisingly one of the worlds we need the most in. Um, after we clear out one more, I'll show you on the map uh, screen, there's like a, we've seen it before, there's like a little thingamabob that shows you what you need and don't need from each world, and, and one is actually one of the ones we need a lot of. Now, the third star here is a bit confusing. I have never seen the third star here, and I remember this level, because we were like, whoa, Plessy! Uh, and getting that third and final star, some of them are hard to figure out what it's for. Like, most of them are just finding things, but some of them also are challenges, and the ones that are challenges are just a bit weird, because it's like, I don't, I mean, that one, you know, is there. But what is this third one? The second one, I thought the second one was over the bridge, or was that the stamp? I don't have the stamp either, by the way. Um, I'm guessing the stamp was possibly back there. I don't even know, I'm, I'm really feeling kind of confused right now. <laughs> Extra life that I cannot seem to grasp. Um, hmm. I might have to do this one twice. Hey. I see the stamp. Not sure if you guys see it. It's over here. There's a Luma there, but that's not the third star. That's the stamp. Okay, good. So maybe we didn't miss the stamp. Where now is the third star? I kind of want to take this slow, because I have no idea where it is. I'm afraid I need speed. There it is. Okay. Um. I think I have to do that. No, I don't. Shoot. Okay, so I really have to just get an epic jump. I wish I could bail off of Plessy. <laughs> I'm going to just uh, complete the level, because I want the... We get the stamp, and that way you don't have to worry about it. And there's no... Uh, I don't think there's a midpoint in this level, so... We also need the gold flagpole, so it's good that we're kitty cat peachy. Whoa. That was pretty epic. Alright. So we got the gold flagpole, we got the stamp. Uh, now the third star, I guess we have seen it before. We just need a really big jump. I guess full speed ahead down that hill and hope that that reaches it. It has to be placed in a way that's massive. You know, like, perfectly in the right spot. If that makes any sense. Um, Alright, let's dive back in. Go, go, peach girl, go, 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 go. My youngest brother hasn't had a chance to even play this game. He's been super busy with school and sports and stuff. Uh, I thought he would love it a lot. Actually, he did play it for like five minutes, but I don't really count that. He's never had a chance to really dive in. And I feel like playing one level, you'll be like, eh, it's Mario. But the composition of all the levels is what really sort of sells it as the magical. Um, and, you know, Game of the Year contender that it is. I definitely think this is up there for Game of the Year. You know, my top three right now are probably... Uh, well, I'm not going to give it away. I'll just say that this one is definitely up there um, as one of my favorite games of the year. And I think it's very well deserving of that honor, and, and I hope that... I don't know. I'm kind of counting on The Last World to sort of be its final selling point, you know? Crown World, just how that really delivers, I think, will, will say a lot uh, because it's sort of the final hurrah for the game. Now, we're coming up... 
upon this in a second. I think this is one of the prettiest looking stages. I love how Plessy doesn't just ride on top of the water. I love how she like dives way under. Um, and you can see, you know, all the splashing. I don't know, I think that's a really cool effect and just showcases that, hey, Mario is no slouch graphic. Okay, okay, we're gonna build up, oh god, that's not what I wanted to happen. Okay, I'm pushing forward as far as I can. Yes, I got it, beautiful. Perfecto, perfecto, we're gonna clear off world one. Goodness gracious sakes, lad, nice job, Peach. All right, sorry that took me two tries, but hey, we got done what we need to get a gun, and we still kept our cat suit. And I think that might be it for world one, I'm not sure. I'm surprised I didn't get that flagpole before, because with that boost pad, you can kind of just jump your way to it real nice and easy. You don't even need the cat suit. Let's see uh, where we're placed with all this nonsense after this one. Clear time, 121. Okay, it's going to save us in. All right. Um, that one's good. That one's good. So, yeah, that's world one cleared out. So, what I was going to do is look at the map here and show you. Um, world one is now... Perfect. Oh no, we're short of stamp on the castle. Uh, but as you can see, most of the other worlds are, are... That one's really complete. A lot of these are more complete than World 1. Somehow World 1 ended up being really silly. But let's do this. Let's get the stamp. I don't really remember where this is. The interesting part here is that you're forced to um, beat the stage before... You can't like collect it and then quit out. Which is sort of cool because it requires you to be perfect. Like get the stuff and finish level. You can't just get it and get out. At the same time, it's a little bit like, ah, oh, I wish I could just get it and then quit. Get it and quit it, you know what I mean? <laughs> just because it would be fun to do that and, and uh, would add some definite speed. I don't really need to worry about anything. Well, I do, because I'm not, I have no idea where the stamp is. Let's collect another Kitty Cat Bell. Um, that's a green star. Maybe there's a climbing spot or something. My best guess. Right. Probably a kitty cat climbing spot. This is the first world. The game was still incredibly big on that. Okay, there's a kitty cat. Oh, okay, there's a... I'm not sure if we've done this. I don't really remember. If you guys remember, I applaud you for epic memory skills. Okay, that was a star. Um, probably something here with the bombs. Let's see. Kick one in there. There it is. Okay. Well, that wasn't so bad, was it? Now let's just zoom our way to the end. We already have the uh, the gold flagpole, so all we really need to do is just reach the end and beat the Bowser and get you guys out of here with World 1 fully 100%ed. Um, like I said, we do unlock new worlds. This isn't just for, like, giggles and, and, and my own enjoyment. There is a real reason for doing this. Um, and I hope you guys are enjoying it. Mario is such a great game. I could play this 100 episodes and never get bored. And that's why I think I do want to do Mario Galaxy 2. So just because we're done with this game doesn't mean that it has to... The fun don't stop just because the game disc ends. You know what I mean? Anyways, let me know in the comments below your thoughts on all that. Thoughts on playing Mario Galaxy 2 afterwards. Thoughts on uh, if you want me to show every stamp and star. We really don't have too many. There's really not as many as you might think. Um, we're actually doing pretty good in terms of, during the main game, I collected, you know, 300 or so, so. There'll be a couple tough ones in the special worlds to still get, but for the most part, I think we're in pretty darn good shape. I don't know why. There we go, Rosalina. Um, so yeah, just let me know your thoughts, and thank you guys for supporting me and enjoying the series and, and being a part of all this, and, and we mixed in some co-op, we mixed in some, some single player, and, and all in all, I think I had a very, very, very good time. But it's not done yet. We still have more to play. We still have more to do. And at least, uh, uh, I don't know, a handful more episodes of doing all this stuff. And then we'll be rewarded with brand new stages uh, once we get to Crown World. And I know that one of them is a crazy mystery house, which is awesome. Uh, a crazy Toad, Captain Toad stage, which is awesome. And at least one insane platforming stage um, that is called Champions Road. And everybody has talked about being absolutely maniacal so can't wait till we get there and get to test out all of our our plumber uh, prowess on that bad boy until that time though guys and girls we beat world one completely now cleared everything out 100 percent and should be feeling pretty good about ourselves as we sprite star our way to victory thank you guys and girls so much for watching hope you're having a fantastic day drink some hot chocolate on to world two and beyond when we come back until that time though thanks again we will see you all Later.